Mathematics is a universal language understood by people all over the world. Whether you live in North America, Europe, or Asia, the symbols used to represent mathematical ideas are practically the same. I've put together 10 of the strangest characters and symbols you'll ever find in math literature. And as we go through this list, take note of how many you knew and how many you got wrong. At the end, I'll rate your math knowledge based on your score. Let's start with an easy one. Can you recognize a symbol, and if so, what does it represent? This symbol is the lowercase Greek letter pi, and it represents an ongoing number roughly equal to 3.14159. In a perfect circle, dividing its circumference by its diameter leads to this irrational number. How about this one? This one deals with calculus, the field of mathematics obsessed with rates of change. This symbol, known as the integral, is used whenever you're looking for the antiderivative of an expression. Let's look at another. And you don't need to be a mathematician to know this one. This character represents infinity, which is used in mathematics to represent something that is larger than any real or natural number. For example, if a sequence of numbers has no end, where no bounds are defined, we say it goes either to positive or negative infinity. I hope you're 3 for 3 so far, because the next few get a little bit trickier. Symbol number 4. What does this symbol mean? This is another Greek letter, this time representing uppercase sigma. Any time a summation is performed over multiple terms, this notation is used. For example, the sum of the first five natural numbers can be denoted like this. Next we have this weird looking Z. This is the Zollen symbol. Zollen means numbers in German. And it is used to denote the set of all integers. In fact, any time you have a double struck letter like this, the symbol usually denotes a number set. Another popular one being this R, which denotes all real numbers. Here we have an equal sign with a third line. This symbol is used whenever you want to show that two sets of numbers are equivalent not equal. For example, sets are said to be equivalent if they have the same number of elements, but the elements are different. Number 7, an upside down A. In mathematical logic, this upside down A is used to replace the word for all or for every in a written statement expressed symbolically. Number 8 on the list is this equal sign with two arrows. This symbol is used in mathematical proofs to represent if and only if. When two statements are connected, we use the symbol to show that either both statements are true or both are false. What in the world does this upside down T mean? In geometry, whenever two lines are perpendicular to one another, we use this symbol to state that. Two lines are perpendicular if they are positioned at 90 degrees to one another. For our final symbol, we have these three dots. These dots symbolize the word therefore. Whenever you solve a math problem and want to write a concluding statement, you use the symbol before making that final statement. Now for the results. If you got a perfect score, it means you know your math symbols incredibly well, which leads me to believe you probably majored in a theoretical math program at school. Any score between 6 and 9 suggests you've studied mathematics in university, but not the core topics that mathematicians study. Usually engineers and scientists score in this range. A score between 1 and 5 means you're just starting off in your mathematics journey. Perhaps you're a high school student or even a college graduate. A score in this range is nothing to be ashamed of. A score of 0 out of 10 means you probably didn't pay enough attention in math class. And you should remedy that by watching more of our videos and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content of this video and would like to see a part 2, let us know in the comment section below. Feel free to share your score or perhaps the strangest math symbol you've come across. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share and click the like button.